Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about China Harbor Engineering Company. Check. It's a Chinese company that builds roads in Jamaica. And they are the major contractor for Jamaica basically. They build all the main roads in Jamaica, all the highways. All the large projects is now done by China Harbor Engineering Company. So I'm sure every Jamaican knows this name. So how did this relationship between China Harbor Engineering Company and Jamaica start? So first to look at how China Harbor became or Czech became the number one contractor in Jamaica. We have to go back to Highway 2000. Now, Highway 2000 is a road. It was a project to build a highway from Kingston to Ocho Rios and from Kingston to Montego Bay. It was the largest project of its kind ever done in Jamaica. It's still under construction. So, the government of Jamaica decided they needed a foreign company or a company that could build this highway. It would be like a super highway in Jamaica. Jamaica had never built a highway of this size before. So Highway 2000 was so big that it was decided to break it up into pieces because of financing. So they put out a bid or a tender and companies that were interested would bid on the project. And surprisingly, China Harbor Engineering Company was not one of the final four companies. And it eventually came down to two. And China Harbor Engineering Company was not one of the two. They never came on the scene at this time. So the first leg of the highway was built by a French company. And there was still no China Harbor Engineering Company. And then the second leg was being or a leg from Kingston to Ocherios was starting and they started with the Mount Russell piece of the highway and the French company started the highway and they ran into problems I don't remember the details but it was decided that the government would have to find a new contractor now, this is where China Harbor Engineering Company comes in. They said to the government of Jamaica, no, we will build the highway. Now, when we were built, when the French company was doing it, a tender was done and like six to seven companies said they were interested and there was various processes and eliminations and it came down to four and then two and then one. Okay, and with the French company, the Jamaican government had to put up some money and the French company put up some money and they got financing from all over the place to build a road. China Harbor Engineering Company says to the government, we will build a road, we will pay for the road. You don't have to put in any money. And the money that you had paid the French company to work on the Mount Rasa part of the road, we will give you back. And the Jamaican government was like, wow, okay. So the Jamaican government went with China Harbor Engineering Company Limited. That is how, that was the first road that they worked on in Jamaica. That's how the relationship started. And every major road project since then, China Harbor Engineering Company is the main contractor. So let's point out some things now. The Highway 2000 was is a toll road, so you would build the road. You come, the government would then give you a concession, and you collect the toll to pay back for the road. Um, the French company was given a concession for 35 years. So they could charge toll on the road for 35 years. And that was from Kingston to Sandy Bay. The road from Kingston to Ocherios 
would need a 50 year concession and even with the 50 year concession they still would not make that the money it would cost to build that road because Kingston to Ocherios doesn't have as much traffic as Kingston to Sandy Bay. So that was another reason why other companies weren't interested. But that didn't stop Czech. They said, no problem, give us a 50 year concession, we'll build the road and we'll pay for it. And then they said to the government, after the 50 years, we're not going to make back the money it costs to build the highway. So give us some land as part of the deal. And the government said yes. And that was how they became, or that was the road they built, the first road they built in Jamaica, which is from Kingston to Ocho Rios. And they've gotten all the main major road projects since. Now, can you imagine the Jamaican, when the French company got the contract, or the Kingston to Sandy Bay Lake. The Jamaican government put together this proposal, put together a lot of paperwork, spent a lot of money getting um, all sorts of project evaluation, planning, everything. And then they chose the final contractor. But in this case, the China Have Engineering Company, they approached the government so he was never put out to tender. So naturally, the opposition party at the time created a, they commented on it, let's put it that way, to say the government didn't put a, this contract out to tender, this company came in, now you're giving them land, you're giving them a 50 year concession. So there was an investigation by the contractor general. And at the end of the day, the contractor general found nothing wrong. Jamaica got its highway. China Harbor Engineering Company financed it. But they got, the highway was built by loans from the China Development Bank and equity provided by China Harbor Engineering Company. Check in, um, they set up a company called the Jamaica North South Highway. And that company, the North South, um, yeah, Jamaica North South Highway Company. That company is owned by China Harbor Engineering Company, and they were given a concession to operate the, they were given a concession for the highway. And the Jamaican government had to put up no financial investment, no loan guarantee, no revenue guarantee, and no traffic yet guaranteed. So basically, if the highway didn't work, the Jamaican government was not liable. But it did work, and the road was built, and you can drive from Kingston to Ocherios in 45 minutes. Now, I should point out that the opposition that asks questions about that deal with China Harbor Engineering Company has since formed the government and they are still using China Harbor Engineering Company as the main contractor. So the company is, has been the main contractor for both political parties. Whichever government is in power works with China Harbor Engineering Company. So maybe at the end of the day, they, the way they went about it might have been wrong, but and I wouldn't say wrong, they took a, a gamble, you could say, but it worked out because the Sandy Bay to Maypen Lega Highway 2000 was built by China Harbor Engineering Company. The Maypen to Mandible Leg is being, by, is being built by China Harbor Engineering Company. The Southern Coastal Highway is being built by China Harbor Engineering Company Limited. The three miles overpass was built by Czech. I can't remember ever hearing another contractor's name for a major road project other than China Harbor Engineering Company Limited. So I think it was a brilliant strategy on their part and it worked because they are the main, the number one contractor in Jamaica right now. 
all right guys thanks for watching leave your comments in the section below let us know what you think of china harbor engineering company and remember to like share and subscribe have a good day